Hey guys. So today we are going to be working on the plumbing again. So far we have the powder room plumbed up and finished, the kitchen finished, and the laundry machine finished with the accompanying uh, grey water system that goes with that. And then Al has a long run that goes to the northeast corner of the house where our master bath is going to be. And he's going to be plumbing in the double sink that we have in there, a tub, a separate shower, and a toilet. So once that's done, he's going to have to uh, do the grey water system that's going to go along with that bathroom like he explained last time. And I'll show you a little drawing for that just to remind you, jog your memories. But once all of that's done, we are going to be starting to build up more and fill in the uh, excavation more, which is really exciting. We're really getting pumped to actually start to see it look like rooms in a house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. That's crazy. I don't even know if I'm getting it on camera though. Look at how many you guys are. That was a flicker. That's awesome. A woodpecker. One, two, three, four. Speedo. You notice they're coming in through the alleys again. I love it.
Hey folks, um, just a quick update on our, uh, our second gray water trap sink leach field system uh, recovery tank thing. Um, originally I was going to have uh, just this kind of uh, leach down and drip through the existing rings and the casing and that, but um, just upon extra thought <laughs> or further thought, uh, instead what I'm going to do is um, what I've done is dug down about almost six feet to uh, the, one of the joints uh, between uh, one tile and the next. Um, without getting into too much detail, this is a kind of a standard dug well with those big cement, uh, you know, about three foot deep like, um, casings. They, they call them tiles for whatever reason, and they just stack. So they they will leak uh, naturally anyways, because I doubt these were sealed when they were when they were uh, when it was constructed. Um, and it doesn't look like they were sealed, from what I can tell. Um, but that might work to our advantage. But what I'm going to do is, at the bottom, I just put some stone to level everything off. And then I put finer gravel to fill in some of the cavities. And then on top of that, I put some finer sand and packed it down with the tamper. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more of that, just kind of um, shaping the bottom of the excavation so that it slopes toward the well from out uh, around the perimeter of the hole. Uh, then I'm going to take a piece of vapor barrier, uh, some leftover material we have from the blue box. I'm going to cut a square that is, uh, you know, probably a little bit bigger than the, the whole area that I've dug around. And then I'm going to cut a hole just the size of the well and I'm going to slip that over like a skirt. And the idea is that that vapor barrier will then sit in that kind of concave excavation floor, if you will. Um, and you know, I know it's imperme uh, water impermeable or semi-permeable. The idea is just once the water leaches through all the sand and that that we're going to build up on top. Um, I'm going to. My my hope is that it will then hit that vapor barrier, and then it's going to travel inward to the seam that I've left at the bottom of the excavation. And I'm also for for insurance, have my hammer drill and just punching you know quarter inch holes all the way around the circumference at that seam. So that will let the filtered water drain into the well and that will be our tank to draw from. So I was looking at some 12 volt DC pumps uh, last night. Uh, there's really two kinds that will fit for us that, that, you know, that are kind of um, in the mode of what I'm used to working with. The, the one is submersible uh, and then the other your standard like diaphragm RV pump and uh, like, like we used for our, our water delivery and that's in our, our trailer in the blue box. Um, from what I can read, the, the submersible pumps, they give you better what they call head or the vertical draw. Um, the best RV pumps that I've seen, you know, are around 10 feet. Uh, that's the depth at which you can prime them and pull water up before the, the, the pump starts to cavitate or, or basically fail. Um, and then the submersible pumps, you know, if it's if it's a shallow water pump, I think they can they, they have like a 26 foot head, which is deeper than our well in the first place. The trade up from what I've read though is they, they have very low pressure, um, and so we want this to fill the toilets and it has to have enough pressure to keep the line pressurized between uh, basically toilets at either end of the house, so about a 60 foot run, maybe not quite, uh, 50 foot. Uh, and, and I don't want it to be so that when we flush our toilet it takes uh, three days for it to fill back up. So what I'm going to do instead is just get the standard RV pump. I'm going to mount it to the side of the well, nice and low, right at the hole um, that it already exists where there's some pipe, uh, pipe coming out for the original system, however they did that. Um, and then I'm going to build an insulated box around it just to protect it from frost because it will be a little bit above the, the four foot frost line. Um, but I figure with the temperature of the water in the well, the fact that it's going to be insulated, uh, I don't, just, I don't, I don't think it's going to have any risk of freezing, but we'll, we'll check on it. Like I say, it'll be a box that I build around and insulated that is accessible, have a little, uh, lid for it so I can get at the pump and, and work on it or do whatever I have to do, replace it, etc. Um, so that is the dealio. The idea will be then I will pump water out of the well into the toilets, all the um, gray water from the bathtub and the sinks, as I mentioned before, and the shower, they will go through a two inch pipe into 
a perforated pipe that will be at the top of all my filter aggregate and so the idea is that that soapy water and everything coming out of the showers and whatnot gets sand filtered before it hits that vapor barrier layer at the bottom and then just basically flows inward to the the well casing with the holes punched in it so that should keep it you know filled i would think uh, one thing we'll keep an eye on is if we end up producing more gray water than what we need for the toilets I might actually drill an overflow line and I'll just have that maybe in a piece of perforated pipe that runs out along here to water uh, our walnut trees. So. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. A place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for
15 feet long.
Our ears still ringing with the sound We were floating off the ground I still feel it even now 